And good day. I'm Andrea Mitchell in Washington. We begin this hour with breaking news from the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, where Elon Musk's SpaceX team is moments away from a new rocket launch that includes both NASA astronauts and a Russian cosmonaut. Let's listen to this final countdown coming from NASA TV. SpaceX Dragon, go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engine's full power, and lift off. Go Crew 5. Stage one alpha. Copy one alpha. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. And you've just seen the space launch. Tom Costello is standing by in Florida at the launch. Tom, it looked like a picture-perfect launch of SpaceX. Yet again, SpaceX is pulling it off. This is Crew 5 on board of four astronauts, including one Russian cosmonaut, on their way to the International Space Station. This is actually the sixth SpaceX mission with astronauts on board. The first was a test flight, and now this is the Crew 5 is the name of this flight. Let me just quickly tell you, as we are looking at all things are nominal, perfect space launch on their way to the station. The crew members here are the commander, Nicole Mann. Free and engineering, the first female Native American ever to go into space. We've also got Anna Kakina. She is the first Russian to go on an American spacecraft in 20 years and Russia's only female cosmonaut. We've got pilot Josh Kasada, a Navy pilot, and Koichi Wakata, a Japanese pilot, uh, astronaut rather, on his way to the station. This is going to be a five-month mission, Andrea, and they are going to dock with the station tomorrow at about 5.10 in the afternoon uh, East Coast time. Listen to the applause. SpaceX Mission Control in, in Houston, sorry, in Hawthorne, California, making the point that they've had perfect separation. All stages separated now as we see the Dragon spacecraft continue on for the rendezvous uh, with the International Space Station. Uh, Andrea, what's fascinating about this mission, aside from the fact that the engineering prowess of SpaceX and yet again pulling off a perfect launch, what's fascinating about this mission is the international element. The Russian cosmonaut, during this time of extreme tension on board an American spacecraft, as both space agencies remain committed to the idea of seat swapping. An American on a Russian spacecraft, a Russian on an American spacecraft, trying to recommit to the space program that both they both share as it relates to the International Space Station. We're now going to watch as those rocket boosters from SpaceX come back down to Earth 
and if all goes as planned, landing perfectly on a barge in the Atlantic Ocean. And Tom, how, how long does that take before that separation and the landing? What is the time frame for that? Separation, yeah, separation is complete. We should see those rockets coming down within the next couple of minutes. Uh, and we are right now T minus, or rather T plus, four minutes and 20 seconds into this. So in just a few minutes, or within a few, we'll see that signature SpaceX move that Elon Musk and company have really uh, trademarked, putting their rockets down onto the pad. Just an astonishing engineering feat. And that is why this works, because they are reusing components of the rocket, as opposed to, for example, the Apollo days or the shuttle days. They are reusing components to make it more economical. By the way, this is the first flight for the Dragon, this particular Dragon crew capsule, but they have reused uh, this rocket before that they're riding into space. It's also fascinating. Let's listen to NASA TV, Tom, you and I together, and all of our viewers watching these incredible pictures. This is NASA TV. The second stage now traveling over 5,400 miles per hour. Crew is pulling a little more than 1G right now. That's going to continue to ramp up, peaking just before we get to second stage cutoff here in just a few minutes from now. First stage will be performing two separate burns, a re-entry burn where we reignite three of the Merlin vacuum, excuse me, the Merlin M1D engines on the first stage. Uh, we ignite the center engine into radial, radial engines to help slow it down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. And then the second final burn, and that will be the landing burn on our drone ship. And the single M back engine Correct. that you see. Trajectory nominal. The single MVAC engine that you see on the right of your screen is continuing to fire. We did hear another call out that trajectory is nominal. Crew heading in the direction that they are supposed to be. This single engine can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. Now over 200 kilometers in altitude. Incredible pictures, listening to NASA TV. We're also joined, I'm with, of course, Tom Costello, who's down there at the launch. And we're joined by former astronaut Ronald Garan, author of Floating in Darkness. Uh, Ronald, uh, this must look extraordinary to you, the SpaceX age of incredible launches. Exciting, we got a, we got a little ways to go. Uh, but yeah, this is a, this is a big event. Ronald, t talk to me about how this compares. You've got four astronauts going up to the space station for a five-month tour and reusing the rocket, which is so amazing to those of us who grew up in the Apollo age. Yeah, that's, uh, that is a critical component of this, the reusability of the spacecraft, because unless we can make uh, launching to space, launching to Earth orbit uh, affordable, um, we're not going to be able to do the things that we really want to do in space. And so this is a, a really good innovation uh, that will hopefully open up a whole new era of space travel. And, Ronald, of course, Tom Costello is with us. Tom, you've talked about the unusual components of this. The pilot is a woman, an indigenous woman, the first Native American yeah. to go up into space. Uh, the Russian cosmonaut, the first and only, well, the only woman cosmonaut right now, as well as, you know, an international crew. Well, listen, I, every one of these uh, astronauts and cosmonauts has an incredibly impressive resume, right? We have uh, Nicole Mann, who is the commander, a fighter pilot with the Marine Corps, a master's degree in mechanical engineering. Josh Casada, PhD in physics. He's also a Navy fighter pilot. Uh, we talk about the 38-year-old Russian cosmonaut. Incredibly impressive resume as well for her and her accomplishments in science in, in Moscow. And then finally, uh, Koichi uh, Wakata, who is now uh, likely to set a record and cumulative amount of time in space. This is not his first rodeo. This will be his fifth trip to space. I've talked to all of them. They're all uh, very committed to the mission. Let me just listen in for a minute as we approach a critical moment here. Shannon, Stage that call one, out. Transonic. 
That call out for Shannon Ireland, indicative of our final abort zone. After this, we'll see second stage shut off and we'll be listening for confirmation of a good orbit, which tells us the crew and Dragon are exactly where they need to be. There we had confirmation that the impact has shut down simultaneously. Uh, the entry. And you heard that call for a good insertion. We will coast for a few minutes. There we can see the drone ship coming into view as Falcon 9 Launch attempts. Stage one landing leg deploy. You can see those landing legs have now deployed. And as you can see on your screen, and you can hear by the clapping and cheering behind me, Falcon 9 has landed on our drone ship, just with the instructions, parked off the coast of Florida. And that, and that again, right that there is what makes this mission so impressive uh, with SpaceX, uh, really the ones who came up with that maneuver and it's worked perfectly for them. Uh, and so now they are going to eventually continue to pick up the speed. Uh, they will hit 17,500 miles per hour before they finally rendezvous like with the International Space Station tomorrow at about 5, 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, but yet again, the NASA and the and the partnership with the private sector, in this case SpaceX, proving that it is working. And uh, and now, for the first time ever, a Russian cosmonaut on a U.S. commercial flight. By the way, 10 days ago, we had an American on a Russian Soyuz flight Again, to the space station. As these two agencies, stage. despite the tension, continue to work together, Andrea. And indeed, and you were citing the extraordinary resumes of these, these astronauts. You know, Nicole Mann, the commander, the pilot, you mentioned her military background. She did 47 combat missions in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah. You know, it's just extraordinary. Uh, you know, these... Yeah, listen, you, you, I got to tell you, when you interview them, uh, you feel like an underachiever because these people, every one of them, has accomplished so much in their young lives. Can I just tell you, Nicole Mann, as we mentioned, uh, the first female Native American, she's taking into space a dream catcher that her mom gave her to take to space. Josh Casada, uh, he's bringing 80s videos. He says that the crew members don't understand his sense of humor, so he's bringing along uh, movies from the 1980s, including Fletch, to help them understand his sense of humor. Uh, and we mentioned Anna, the Russian. She's bringing up a figurine from her hometown in Russia. And then finally, Koichi, the Japanese astronaut, uh, he is bringing up an origami uh, that he wants to hopefully create and craft something beautiful. Again, it's a five-month mission. But they're going to be performing more than 200 science experiments, some of them having to do with a 3D printer and hoping that they can use that in a biomedical research. It's just, it's just extraordinary. Uh, Tom Costello, our man for space and the high achiever in, any, in anyone's books. Uh, thank you so much, Ron Garin. Thank you, of course, the author of Floating in Darkness. It's just wonderful pictures. Congratulations to NASA. And to SpaceX, Elon Musk, they have apparently done it again. Uh, we'll be back in a moment, but first, uh, up next.